Hey everybody, Zach here. You know, finishing up uh, this Tuesday here in San Francisco. Uh, got a little bit of laundry, finishing up uh, my uh, very full Tuesday, first day, first full day here um, at the PGA Championship this week. Um, you know, I thought I'd shoot a quick video while I was in the hotel room here, finishing up Tuesday. Uh, you know, typically, these weeks on the road, uh, I try to pack for about eight, nine, ten days or so. Um, that way I can get from one weekend to the next before having to do the laundry like I am tonight on a Tuesday. Um, that way I, I can just make it into that second week, but have to finish this up. It was a very full day out there at the golf course. Went out there at about 7 a.m. Um, it's rapidly approaching 11 p.m. right now, so feeling pretty tired, especially being um, a Florida resident, coming from the East Coast, on our way to Memphis, and then now all the way on Pacific time. Feeling pretty tired right now, but got to do these last bit of chores. Um, kind of reflecting on this first day out there at Harding Park, and uh, really like the golf course. It's my first time seeing it. Um, it's pretty much all out there in front of you. There's not a lot of tricks to it, really. Um, you can see everything that's waiting for you. It's a, it's a tough course, obviously. Uh, thick rough. Greens are on the firmer side. Uh, they're not super fast, but they're definitely on the firmer side, and it's going to play difficult this week. Um, you know, Tyler and I are meeting at 7.30 in the morning. We're going to play an early morning nine holes tomorrow. And... Uh, you know, I think one of the most important things that that we can accomplish tomorrow morning is to just get a great feel for how much this uh, cool, heavy air affects uh, how far the ball flies. You know, like today, a few different times, um, is upwards of 15, 20 yards of impact that the air can have on how far the ball flies. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty big effect, especially when you consider, like, the player has to has to be able to trust it and commit to the shot. Um, you know, if their five iron normally goes 200 yards in the air and we're trying to land it at 180, um, and for them to trust that and really commit and hit that shot pretty full, um, it's difficult. So tomorrow's nine holes will be important for us to track how far the ball, the fly, how far the ball flies and uh, probably do a little bit of work with the track man on the driving range afterwards um, just so we can really commit to those numbers leading into our our first round on Thursday. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what a typical, you know, second week on the road evening looks like here. Um, trying to get it all done, head to bed, get a quick six hours sleep, and then back towards Harding Park in the morning. Have a good night, y'all.